Chapter 1 Mrs. Caitlin Fields. Seventeen-year-old Caitlin scribbled the name again and again in her notebook. At least three pages were filled with the name and several more with her plans for their life together. Wedding colors, children's names, places they would live. You've got it bad, her friend Tiffany teased as she spied the notebook. I can't help it, Caitlin sighed. I just know we're going to get married someday. I bet you guys do. You're such a cute couple. Do you think he'll give you his senior ring? Tiffany lifted up part of her crimped hair, pulling it into a scrunchie. Caitlin smiled and closed the notebook. I think he's going to tonight. I know you picked it up at school yesterday, and it would be perfect timing tonight at homecoming. Oh, I'm so jealous of you, Tiffany said, but in a good way. Don't worry. Caitlin wrapped an arm around her friend's shoulder. I'm sure you'll find your Prince Charming soon. Caitlin stared at the date on the calendar. Had it really been a year? Of course, it felt much longer. She had left three years ago when Jack was just two. He barely remembered his father, but the divorce hadn't been finalized until last year. Hey, you okay? Caitlin looked up to see Melody Phelps, her best friend and business partner, in the doorway. She shook her head. Yeah, I was just caught off guard by the date. My divorce was finalized a year ago today. Sympathy flooded Melody's blue eyes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Caitlin. Caitlin shrugged. It's better this way, believe me, but it's still hard. I'm afraid I don't have good news either. Melody waved the piece of paper in her hand. Quarterly reports. We need a good job quickly or we're going to have to do something drastic. Melody handed the reports to Caitlin and then shuffled out of the office. Caitlin sighed as she reviewed them. More money was definitely going out than coming in, and they would need to turn it around soon, or they would lose the business. She had thought interior decorating would be easy, but it was proving a challenge to get noticed and even harder to get booked. Of course, that probably had a lot to do with her personality. She had always been on the shyer side around people she didn't know, but she was a great designer. If only she could find a way to get clients coming to her. Beside her, the phone rang and Caitlin picked it up without even glancing at the caller ID. Caitlin Bell Designs. Hi, Caitlin, this is Margie Fields. Caitlin gripped the phone tighter and sat up straighter even though the woman on the other end couldn't see her. What could the mother of her ex-boyfriend want? Uh, hi Margie, what can I do for you? Well, I heard through the grapevine that you were a decorator. You always did have an eye for design. Anyway, I don't know if you remember, but we own a lodge in the mountains and the main room needs to be redone. I was hoping you might be able to work some magic on it before the Christmas season. How could Caitlin forget the lodge and the mountains? It had been her home away from home every Christmas, as her dad often traveled for work. She hated that he was gone most holidays, but Dylan's family had taken her in with open arms. She had fond memories of skiing there, building snowmen with Dylan, and then cuddling by the fire. But there was a rub. All the memories of the place included Dylan. Dylan, who she thought she was going to marry, but who had left town after high school to explore the world, while Caitlin stayed close to home. Caitlin bit her lip as she pondered the offer. She needed the work and the money, but what if Dylan would be there? Could she handle seeing him again?